Hello, this is Dr. David Bilstrom from the Autoimmune Lifestyle and Air National Autoimmune Institute. And this is Did You Know? And did you know that we're here today at Golden Lake in Harriman State Park in Idaho? You should go online and look it up. It is absolutely spectacular. We've hiked for about two hours now. It was too windy on the ridge overlook, which overlooked um, Silver Lake and then the Tetons right behind it. So here we are though at Golden Lake and got our bear spray because it's grizzly bear country, so we gotta be safe. Trumpeter, swans, all kinds of lovely uh, wildlife here. And what I wanted to uh, tell you today is a little, have a little fun. So as you go through your day in, day out stuff, um, keep an eye out for autoimmune disease and try to picture where people are gonna go when you hear kind of some healthy health stuff. So I just did the first video, the first student learning objective for the advanced scientific course and gave a couple examples. And just yesterday, I was good. I was good. We were up at uh, Yellowstone uh, River. We kayak Yellowstone River at Max Inn. You gotta check that place out if you come here too. Beautiful. We saw a adolescent moose walking in the water, eating. We just kind of floated past. Bald eagles in a nest. Bald eagle diving into the water to get a fish. It was great. But what I wanted to say is before we left for that adventure yesterday, we were watching the French Open, and two Americans, uh, women, were facing each other, and. You see autoimmune disease everywhere. So here's one of the players whose sister has an autoimmune disease. You know they run in families. Wouldn't it be lovely if everybody knew that and we could prevent not only the sister from getting new autoimmune diseases as time goes on, but also the person playing. And then it turns out the other uh, player uh, had endometriosis surgery after some tournaments in Italy. You know estrogen dominance, bad flows, bad cramps, bad PMS, ovarian cysts, breast cysts, fibroids, endometriosis. So here's the other player with premenopausal endo, uh, estrogen dominance, endometriosis. You know she's not feeling her best, not able to play her best, but also 5.4 times greater chance of getting breast cancer before menopause, 10 times greater chance of malignant neoplasms lifelong. Plus, you should probably have an autoimmune disease too. So wouldn't you love it if everybody knew this and she needed the surgery so she could play in the French Open, but love to get rid of it, get rid of the estrogen dominance, keep her from getting not only cancer, but autoimmune disease. It's all over the place. Every place you look, there's autoimmune disease, including, I wanna say about nature, nature resets cortisol. Resetting cortisol helps your immune system. People get less infections, less flus, resets that cortisol. Now, if a grizzly bear jumps out, we're definitely, my cortisol is definitely going up. But other than that, my cortisol is doing great. Jody's cortisol is doing great. And we look forward to having you enjoy the book. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the advanced scientific course. The book's coming out. We have some great blurbs from some really prominent people that have bestsellers on New York Times bestseller list. So we're really pleased about that. They gave us such great feedback. So remember, the Nurse Practitioner's Guide to Autoimmune medicine, reversing and preventing all autoimmunity. We want to see a nurse practitioner expert in every community around the world. Have a lovely day.